Hey guys, today I wanted to make a video about Tasso Showdown. Uh, I've not made a video about this game in a while, and uh, it's time for a little bit more content, I think. It's a game that is being independently developed, uh, one of the new kind of Kickstarter era of card games, and is just, just barely before its Kickstarter stage. They've got a Patreon going right now, as you can see here from Patreon Scout. They're doing these Patreon booster packs. Um, there's some additional promos and things that you can get. This is my first month's worth of Patreon rewards. And so I just thought I'd show off what I got for my Patreon slot and kind of showcase some of the new cards coming out. Uh, something new and exciting since the last time I had any Tasso Showdown content on this channel is I've been added to the team since my last video. And I am now working on designing cards, effects, playtesting, etc. And helping Ray, the creator of the game, um, with his uh, rollout to Kickstarter. But that's aside for now. I just want to kind of show off what I got for my Patreon stuff. And look at some new uh, shiny promos here. I'm going to go through the stuff that I've got sleeved here first. It's already open. And we'll get into the pack at the end. I got a... Kaiju Water Frag. There are different rarities that he's using in this game. Um, this one specifically is a Kaiju Rare, which is, in our game, the second, uh, well, third, I guess, sort of highest level of rarity. Um, if you were to go off of um, more of like a standard kind of rarity scale, like common, uncommon, rare, this would be like a super rare. Um, just just above rare, like an ultra, I guess like an ultra rare or something like that, if you were to... Um, Pursue kind of a other a typical uh, grading system, a rating system, not grades. Um, well, there is a digital signature on these, and they have like kind of a full art frame here. This card will eventually, or in its truer form, has uh, just a regular image and text. But some of these promos here we're doing f just full art, kind of art proof copies of the cards. This one here is is pretty cool. There is uh, looks like another card in this as well. Take a look at what we've got back there. We've got a copy of Skyrus, the Skybearer. This is a legendary item rare, which is basically the highest main rarity you can get. There is something called a Tasuo rare, and they are like, I guess you'd call it like a secret rare, um, but these are kind of the chastest rare otherwise. Um, I really like the art on Skyrus. I think she looks um, really well done. And I'm excited for this Skybearer deck. Um, this here is uh, is actually just kind of an old uh, proof of concept card from when he like was originally playtesting the game. They they were all on these kind of just cardboard cutouts with effects, so not really all that cool. But uh, as far as like proof of concept and design history goes, a neat thing to have. Uh, something that he awarded to people who are playing the game. Um, he One of the things that's really cool about Tasso Shadow is he's very focused on uh, both the collectors and the players. So he's got a lot of these kind of full art cards and stuff that are very limited for play uh, for collectors. There are like eight copies of this and stuff like that that make them very sought after on a sort of secondary market. But he also wants to reward the players the original push for the game it's been you know being tested for eight years now is for people to play it and so he's been putting out these uh promos here uh, sending two copies to players they are uh limit two per deck and they essentially just target a card in the legend zone and destroy it um legend zone is kind of like the back row in Yu-Gi-Oh. so um this is just a cool uh, a very powerful card that he's sort of awarding to to players who are actively contributing to testing the game and um, being involved. So this is a very cool thing to get. I've been looking forward to these for a while. We've got Queen Lily of the Lotus. Um, she is from one of the, the decks, the Lotus tribe. Um, there's like a Black Lotus and a White Lotus kind of warring factions, and that's a really cool full art version. One of the things that we've been toying with with these, that uh, blemish is actually on the sleeve. I checked when I pulled it out, but it is not on her actual card. One of the things I was, uh, that uh, we've been toying with with these kind of promos here is truly full art. I'm um, getting rid of these uh, borders around the edges, going like full edge to edge uh, 
full art. Then we're going to have like the text itself laid over top. And it's turning out to be pretty cool. Um, people seem to enjoy it, so they probably will stick around um, for higher rarity cards. A neat thing that he's been doing for these promos too is the back of the card is foil as well. So they're double-sided holographic, which is pretty interesting. Uh, then we've got Beta Rin and Beta Key. These are from the uh, Alpha, or the Alpha, the Keel Wolves deck. Um, there is a Alpha Rin, Omega Key. They're two like full-size wolves that you can play in the deck. These are kind of their like pup forms. Um, there's, uh, they're both kind of legendary item rares. Is what the, the rarity of these for? There's um, only a few of these of each of these that were printed. I can't remember exactly the count of these. I think it was like 20, 25. But um, there's not very many of either one of these that exist either. Um, they were available for a little while on his website, TassoShowdownLLC.com. And I think both of these ones are sold out by now. I think these two sold out pretty quickly. But they are pretty cool with the full kind of art to the edge. I like this, uh, oh, what do you call this, lens flare going on here. I think these both look really nice too. Um, this is another one of the Sky Bearers. Um, it, within the sort of Sky Bearer faction uh, archetype, there's this sort of group of them that are the aerial assault soldiers. And there's a few of them. There's like a red one, a blue one, a green one, a purple one, this kind of yellowy orange one. Um, and then there's also the sort of more normal day-to-day -day sky bears who just sort of like live in the in the world. And these are kind of the enforcers that like protect the protect the tree, the nest. There's a good word for it. Um, but this card looks really, really cool. Um, I've seen this card's effect. It's also a really neat card. I'm excited for this deck. I think it's going to be really fun. And finally, we've got two copies here of The Ugly Professor. Um, this is kind of the villain of the first arc of the game. Um, he is holding a he is holding the Tasso Showdown. It's a tournament, and um, he has gathered essentially these kaiju frags, which if you put them together, create a tablet that grants any wish, and he's offering uh, whoever wins the tournament can get their wish. So all these various archetypes and tribes and clans and factions and things are all competing to try to win this. And he is trying to essentially capture their souls to use these uh, these gauntlets that he's got, and along with another machine, uh, to harvest their energy to kind of further his dastardly plans. Uh, but we've got a sort of normal version of him. This is the uh, Emerald Rare, which is, this would just be like our rare. Um, and then we've got a sort of fancier version of him. Um, it's kind of the same art, but he is, he's is he got more kind of, as you can see, effects going on with his gauntlets. He's really got a little more power going on here. And then, and then it's got the artist's signature there. Um, this, I think, is a really, really neat looking card. This one, I don't think... This one is not foil on both sides, actually. Well, that is it for the sleeved up cards here. Let's take a look at the contents of my uh, Patreon pack. Um, I did subscribe to our Patreon just to get one of these packs. Um, there is a uh, uh, kind of the entry-level tier gets you one of the packs in a promo. Uh, so let's see what we get in our three card pack here. Oh, these three are actually the aerial assault soldiers I was telling you about, um, the different kind of colored uh, warriors. So let's see what we pull out of this, see if we get anything uh, impressive. And the nice thing is uh, he did go ahead and penny sleeve each of these cards within the pack, so they stay a little more protected, which is a really nice touch. Uh, we've got Sousa, the Sky Barrier. Um, this card looks really good foil. Um, I personally don't love the kind of... Uh, <laughs> I call them booba cards, but I'm not a big fan of, like, the 
waifu cards that exist in card games. I know that's like an incredibly popular thing, and um, this card, when it came out, was like an, a huge hit. Everyone loved it. Um, I, on the other hand, I like this guy a lot. I think he's really interesting looking. He's got like a cyborg arm. Um, just an everyday rare for this guy. But uh, two copies of her, which is not cool. Um, it's a good, easy trade, especially. Um, the foils on these I, I do like. Then one thing that's nice with these is they have a special back. All of the Patreon cards have this uh, this unique back to them to kind of identify them separately from the uh, official backs, which are the this. This is the back that the card game itself will actually have, um, and this is kind of the Patreon exclusive card, just to make them a little more identifiable and uh, keep the kind of collectible value of these as as unique as possible. Um, but Souza and uh, Thunderbringer here, along with the one that I've got. Who is over here? Got a good little tribe of them going on. I didn't get the purple guy. I would have liked to have him. He's really neat looking. Um, his card looks really cool. His the way his wings kind of fold was really neat. But this will be an easy trade for that. Then I'll have those kind of put together. Anyway, I said I wasn't gonna make this video super long. I just wanted to kind of show off what you would get if you were to back a tier. Um, the tiers have actually improved a little bit since I backed my first tier. The March tier um, had more in it than the February tier did. Uh, and going forward, that'll be kind of the norm still as well. So there's plenty to see. And uh, I guess one last little item that I got. Um, I got a 3D printed little model of a character in our game called Hellbound Hound. He belongs to the K-Reaper faction. And he's just a little guy. Just cute little, cute little pup. I'm gonna paint him up and get him looking a little nice. But he's he's fun. They're actually uh, working on getting each of the K Reapers 3D printed like this. So eventually, in a perfect world, you could have a whole little team of each of the K Reaper cards. Um, maybe I'll do a little video on that. It's not really a card game, but it'll be neat. I think it might be neat to see all of them. Maybe just a picture or something. I don't know. For now, I think he turned out really well, and he's a fun little. Uh, accessory. Well, until next time, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for letting me show off some Tashua Showdown, and uh, stay tuned. There will be much more to hear about this game in the future.